substance is best described as beauty with brains. And I have with me Dr. Nishtha Jaswal, who is just the perfect example of woman of substance. You are a personification of beauty with brains, Nishtha Ji. Nishtha Ji, thank you so much for being with me here and giving me this chance to talk to you. Always my pleasure, Rafa. Ji, my you are the Vice Chancellor, Himachal Pradesh National Law University, Shimla. You have over 34 years of experience and you specialize in constitutional law, administrative law, human rights and environmental law. You've published and presented over 80 papers and you've published six books. You have acted as the Dean Student Welfare Punjab University and officiated as the Dean of University Instructions at Punjab University. You are the member of the Chandigarh Commission for Protection of Child Rights and you have retired as a professor, Department of Laws, Punjab University, Chandigarh. Nishraji, that is a humongous list of achievements for a woman. And I am really impressed because what I know of you is you're a woman of poise and grace and calm. You are an enduring mother and a loving wife. So how has the journey, where did it all start? How has it all been so far? Thank you, Abha. In fact, I have the same common journey which every woman has. Mm. I can simply say... I was brought up as a very darling daughter and I belonged to a family where there was never any distinction between a boy and a girl. So I belonged to a very, very broad-minded family. Yes, I think you have the genes so, there. Yes. Yes. So, <laughs> and in fact, I, I had always been a revolutionary. Hmm. Maybe as a student, maybe as a teacher, maybe now as vice chancellor and administrator. Hmm. In fact, everyone has to struggle. I also struggled. Yes, yes. Because I never had any godfather. Okay. If I could achieve anything, that was only on my merit, my capabilities, my mm. qualifications. Mm. And proudly I can say that wherever I applied, whatever I did, I was never rejected. Okay. Till date, okay. as a record. Well, that's, that's fabulous. Nishta ji, um, to have had this journey of, as you say, never, you've never seen rejection. You might not know what failure is. But still, we have a journey which is always and often laced with sacrifices and, you know, battles with your own self. Because we're conditioned somehow to not be very, very loud as women, as girls. But there are certain roles that especially you are in, you are an influencer now. And I'm sure there's a there's hordes of youngsters who are looking up to you and most of the women would be wanting to be like you, grow up like you. So what qualities you did you really nurture within yourself? In fact, uh, I can say that of course everybody has to struggle. Mm. I also did. Yeah. I also passed through those sad, struggling, frustrating moments mm. where I had to put so many things on balance and bring out logical results. Yes. Only in Indian society, I think globally, it's universally true mm. that females, they have to <coughs> take care of their homes. Yes. Same I had to do. I had to behave like a daughter-in-law, I had to behave like a wife and particularly as a mother. Yeah. And... But still, I can, again, I can proudly say that till a date, I give appropriate sufficient time to my daughters. Nishta ji, uh, you just use this word appropriate, which as an image consultant is so close to my heart. Because when I am talking of, an, uh, of a woman's image, of a person's image, it's all about appropriate visual presentation and appropriate behavior. Right? So I think you're just a beautiful blend of you looking ravishing today thank you the pink is just you and you. Um, so um, when you are projecting that image of um, uh, in the workplace an image of a confident woman who knows what she's talking who has that um, the knowledge of books that she's got all over the years within herself 
And then how do you project that image through your clothes, through your grooming and through your demeanor, through your voice? It all has to be just perfect throughout the day. In fact, it's not so that I remained untouched by any kind of fashion. No, okay. Because I have worn almost all kinds of dresses, but till I joined the job. Mm. After joining teaching, because for me, teaching is a very, very noble profession. Mm. So after that, I in fact never entered the class without being in sari. Yeah. So I have always been in sari when I go to class. It's very, very important that one must be gracefully and decently dressed. Yes. Yes. That really makes a difference. Yes. That changes your personality. Yes. That changes your presence anywhere. Yes. And it's also the way you feel yes. within an outfit that you it are able to project. In fact, it gives you confidence. It does. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, um, Nishta ji, um, when you talk of yourself, what are those three adjectives that would describe Nishta Jaswal, Dr. Nishta Jaswal? <laughs> and you believe on those three words? I can simply say, I have proved my name true. Nishtha means mm. determination, dedication and devotion. That is so beautiful, <laughs> so beautifully said. And one little message that you have for women who are really looking up to you as a role model, I'm sure you would have a lot of women who would uh, really seek your mentorship. In fact, I would only advise that we have to keep balance yeah. between our duties at home and duties at workplace. Mm. And in fact, I can simply say hard work is the key to success. I write poetry. I can simply say, Jeevan Sarita Me Mehnat Manji Kismat Patwar Kaise Na Hoti Jeevan Naya Paar. Oh, that's that's and so beautiful. one more thing is, uh, I can admit that every female has to struggle in the external world. Mm. I still remember just 10, 15 years back in the university, sometimes I used to be the lone member of so many committees full of dominated by males. Ah, yes. Yeah. But I have always kept one, in fact, one small verse which I always quote. A bande mujhe mitane ko tujhe khuda banna hoga. A bande mujhe mitane ko tujhe khuda banna hoga. Tu khuda hi ban gaya. Tu khuda hi ban gaya. Tu mujhe mitne ka kya kam. That is so beautifully expressed. Nishta ji, thank you so much for this rendezvous. As the chapter president Chandigarh of IMPA, I am really, really happy to have had this dialogue with you. So here is to all the women of substance. Maybe we know many. We will see many more. We will raise many more. But womanhood is to be celebrated all throughout. Thank you so much, Mr. Ji. Thank you, Abba. Thank you. Thank you.